everyone I just wanted to uh, share some thoughts or something I was thinking about and that's uh, about how the Lord works in our lives and how the Lord cleared up a big block of confusion for me and who he was how he work, was working in my life versus by uh, perceptions that I had learned in church and of course it was a very personal thing of course because it was dealing with me specifically and my questions in my soul about if I was walking right with the Lord or not and um, back then you know I was um, I was always told to have a quiet time with the Lord get with the Lord my mom does it every morning you know, in the early early morning and I was thinking about that I was thinking well let's uh, have I had my quiet time today how often do I get to the scriptures how often do I you know study and pray and show myself approved before the Lord all that kind of thing and um, <clears throat> it troubled me and, and it troubled my piety or what I thought was uh, what I should be doing with the Lord as far as building up my own personal walk and I would say it was about 1996 97 one day and I don't even remember exactly what it was but the reason I could say 96 97 is because when the Lord shows me something it goes deep within me and I can always recall it even years later and this was of course over 20 years ago <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> but anyway uh, let me let me think about what it what it was that was going on. There was there was something where I was uh, I was uh, challenging myself. Was I uh, was I um, you know my own piety? Was I being was I doing right before God or not doing right before God? Was I um, was I devoting myself enough to the Lord? You know, to have Him work in my life. And I can't remember exactly what it was, but I do remember on that day that things just fell into place. I had a tremendous blessing on that day, and I don't even remember what it was. But what I learned that day and what the Lord showed me in my heart was that um, I didn't have anything to do with uh, with Christ's uh, mercy or grace to me. Um, it was all predestined uh, within my life. And I, this predestination, this, this uh, faithfulness of the Lord Jesus Christ is something that although you know that's and that's what church thinking is thinking you have to do something to kind of earn it you have to you have to um have have a um i don't know that you owe it to the lord to have a kind of legalism to have a prayer time to have quiet time to read the bible you owe it to the lord because i was always taught that quite frankly but what the lord showed me was that particular day is don't worry about it um I'm in control of your life, and you know, it's like having a, being a cheerful giver. The Lord loves a cheerful giver, the, uh, the Bible says. Well, it's the same thing with our time. When we go to the Lord naturally, and we because we want to commune with him, because we want to know him, not because we're under the letter of the law, we feel we have to. You know, the letter of the law kills, and the Spirit makes alive. That's what the Lord showed me. He was like, don't worry about putting yourself on a schedule. You know, that because that was my perception of what I'd always been taught. And being, you know, my piety, I'll call it, you know, um, uh, getting with the Lord and doing right before the Lord. And if I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not putting them first in my life and all those kind of, ooh, bad, bad, bad. And Jesus, because of his love that he has for me, just showed me, hey, you know, um, it's like even when I was dead, when Jesus was next to me. There's no place you can go to get away from the Lord if you're truly the Lord's people. You know, there's just no place you can go. If you have a heart towards the Lord, the Lord's always with you. And he's not dependent on our own actions to do anything. Because if he was dependent on our own actions, we would all fall, uh, you know, deathly uh, short. In other words, we fall into death. We couldn't do it. We can't possibly keep the law. We can't possibly keep our hearts uh, in Christ 24-7 all the time. 
No, the whole thing is by grace we are saved. And yes, it's important to listen to the Lord, but I, and I hate to say it, but it's also important that we don't condemn other people because of a, a uh, perception that we have. And that's why I'm using this story about um, going in prayer with the Lord and, you know, kind of this, kind of this heavy, you know, it's almost like a guilt trip. Um, the Lord doesn't work that way. He doesn't work that way. If you're his, uh, he would just naturally flow into you and speak into you, even when you're in sin. Even when you're in sin, I mean, not I'm not saying it, rebellious sin where you're doing it on purpose, but even where you're, where you're not in the place that you necessarily should be, the Lord will show you. He's with you. He's not dependent on us. We're dependent on his grace. And that's the great thing, the great lesson that I learned over 20 years ago, and it still holds fast today. God bless, brother. Good day.